The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, folks, I posted a chart for the FTSE and also for the DAX, and as you can see, it's AB equals CD. Let's talk about something that's important, folks. Last night, I got a phone call from my friends down in Kentucky, Hubert uh, Centers and Jeanette Sims. They run Trade Thirsty. It's one of the larger websites for traders. And they asked me if I would make a contribution to the people in Mayfield, Kentucky. And I said, what did you have in mind? And he said, how about your profits for today? And I said, okay, send me $500. I didn't say that, but yes, I did. And it turned out to be a relatively good day. But uh, the main reason I'm going to try to chat with you here for a second is twofold. 1948, we had a terrible terrible tornado and i've sat through three or four of these uh, when i was a youngster there in indiana and my sister was four and i was eight we were at my grandmother's house in clinton indiana just north of uh Terre Haute, about 12 miles where i was born and uh, we were in the cellar where my grandfather made uh, salami and cheese and they lost the house the roof was taken off uh, most of the stuff was destroyed. It wasn't much of a house anyway, but uh, it was destroyed. The neighbors helped build it up over a period of a few years. The reason why I'm weaving this little story around, because that was the most scared I've ever been in my life. My sister called me uh, to remind me about this situation. She, was, she still remembers it, and I, I do too. But anyway, it, it, 20 years ago, I believe it was in Christchurch, New Zealand, they had a terrible earthquake, and we have several friends from that area, as did Larry Williams. And Larry Williams, myself, and Bob Miner, and a few other people, got to get Mark Douglas got together, and we put a seminar together for the folks uh, and donated all the money from the seminar to the Christchurch people. It amounted to a little over seventy thousand dollars. And uh, so, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, raise some money for the people. I'm not. Put your hands down, folks. I don't want any handout or anything like that. But I'm trying to figure out something that we could do to help them. Now, one of the things that I was thinking about this morning is I made a few phone calls to a couple of people that are very, very uh, rich and very, very generous. And they already paid thousands of dollars uh, to the organization to get it going. But, folks, these people have nothing. Unless you've seen what a tornado can do, I mean, it's nothing like what an earthquake. The only thing that could be worth worse than a tornado, and I don't know if there is anything worse than a tornado, would be a flood or a, uh, you know, a fire that de destroys everything. But we'll try to figure it out, you know, how we can help these folks. Uh, when I was at Drexel Burnham during those years, December, I'm not, this is, uh, this is the absolute truth, folks. In December, if you had made your quota in December, you know, you weren't going to make it. That was basically uh, the bottom line. And you were you were told when you went to work for Drexel, you're going to give 5% of the money that you make to charity. Just get you get ready for it because it's coming. And so that was a that was just a status quo and that's what we did. I actually did a little more than that. But uh, I you know, when you're making a lot of money, you know, you got to give some of it away, folks. You can't you can't take it with you. You got to help some people along the way and these people have nothing. I watched a little bit of Fox News last night and I saw these little families that were just you know, just literally, I guess I get a little too choked up and stuff. But anyway, uh, we'll figure out some way to help them. But uh, if you do, if you do want to give something, you know, let me know and I will forward it on to him. Or you can go to uh, TradeThirsty.com and Hubert Centers and Jeanette Sims. I probably have a, a, a link on there where you could uh, give something. I'm donating my income from them for the year. Uh, to these folks, and so well, that doesn't amount to more than fifty bucks. But anyway, the, the, if you'll if you can help them out a little bit, because these people are really, really in big trouble. I remember when Katrina happened in '04, uh, we had uh, eighteen hundred families come in from. Uh, oh, shut up! Just a minute, my, my my alert, my alerts going off here. I've got to turn it on here. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Hold on, just a second. 
that booked a little money. All right, let's move on here to, to a little bit here. Um, it was in Katrina. We had 1,800 families come from New Orleans, and when they came here, they basically had nothing. At that time, I had a very active uh, trading room with through Ensign with uh, Leslie and Shelly Simon. Leslie Jufflis and Shelly Simon was running it, and I, I gave a little talk in there every morning for a bit, and we raised uh, – I think we raised close to $100,000 uh, for the people from Katrina. It was one family in particular with six kids had nothing. I mean, they just didn't have anything. And uh, uh, one of the car dealerships here gave them a, a, a beautiful suburban van. And then we had a, one of my buddies here in town had several homes, and he gave him a year's free rent. And he was a carpenter. He was able to get a job right away. They got their lives together, and the kids are already you know out in the area. Some of them have grandkids, I guess, already, but uh, you got to give a little bit back. So I'm going to give it, even if it's as little as possible, you got to do something for Christ's sake. These people are, man, they're just absolutely devastated. But uh, I'm a little too emotional about that stuff because I've, I've been so lucky, folks. Gee whiz. I mean, I just, uh, I got to be one of the luckiest people that ever walked the earth. I'm not, I'm not rich by any stretch of the imagination, but if you add it, if you add all the other things that I have, uh, well, well, never mind. Don't make any difference. Let's move on to the markets. Uh, speaking of what a, one of the trades for today was this one right here. Uh, I was watching the wheat market, and of course, you know, I do like the 382 retracement. Look at this beautiful 382 retracement, folks. Stopped right there at 779. We're now trading uh, at the 1.618 level at 758. The risk on that trade was about four cents. It's made 23 cents. So that's the kind of thing that I like to be uh, looking at. The other thing that I mentioned, I, I do these videos every day for the 24-7 folks. Oh, by the way, Jeff Huge from Alpha Insights will be our guest today. Uh, and he'll be uh, he'll be coming on at the half hour. Uh, but when I when I do these videos, what I try to do is set up strategies that you can use for yourself because I can't send things out immediately. You know when they're abs You know when they're actually happening. I mean, because by the time you get them, it's 10, 15 minutes late, maybe even longer, and you can't you can't do it. So what I try to do is to set up a a situation to say, if you see this happen, do this. So that that's what I try to do, and sometimes it works, you know. Sometimes it doesn't, but that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Now I wanted to go and bring back one of uh, March charts from yesterday, and that was the palladium that we were talking about. I do have these charts now. If you uh, if you want those, I I can put them into a file and send them out to you, so you'll be able to take a look at it. But Bart will be one of our regular guests from now on. We'll have him on every two weeks because he does some uh, really good stuff, and uh, and he's he's incredibly talented at what he does. He happens to be a pilot, folks. And any time I've ever had a pilot as a student, uh, and I had all four of them. I've had uh, see, I had John, uh, Bart. Uh, Bucky and uh, Jeff, all four of them, all, all of that whole group of uh, F-16 pilots. Let's try that again, Larry, F-18 Navy pilots. And uh, I had them as students, and they're all still training. Let's let's uh, talk just a little bit about the uh, Palladium. I'll be right back. Wow, this, holy cow. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of Palladium. Don't trade it. I never have, but people watch it. I have a customer that's heavily involved in it. And you'll notice that the low today uh, on that chart was, I believe, 1911. It's now rallied $50 off that level. Now, you'll notice on the way down, it hit those 382 retracements all the way down. Remember those, folks, because someday, maybe not in my lifetime, but someday there's going to be a correction in the stock market. And you're going to be able to see these numbers work in you know, good tandem. Now, today, we had the Federal Reserve are out there doing their preservation stuff for us. And you want to watch these numbers because if we get a very good number, we should have some really strong resistance in the S&P 500 uh, at around the uh, 343 level uh, in that ballpark. Now, it's, it, there's a possibility that we're making a, a little bit of a low here. Let's see if, see if I can remember to bring this up. And here we are right here. Here's where we are right now. Uh, just get this up right now, and then we'll be able to see. We should be looking for a low down here right around noon, and then we have a rally back up. Now, that number on the far right up there, you see 1839, that has nothing to do with price, folks. This is all time related. Just forget that number. It just happens to be how they measure price, but uh, that has nothing to do with it. The number that's important is 13. 46, 43. That's the number. Let's keep that in mind. All right. We will have Jeff Huge on at the break, hopefully, and that's something that we certainly all want to hear. But anyway, we'll watch that uh, very, very closely, as I always say that. When I said, holy cow, folks, that goes back to my days of watching uh, and listening to the radio with the Mel Allen and the New York Yankees and stuff. He would always say, holy cow. And uh, I think Dizzy, Dizzy Dean said something a little more crazy than that. Now, I wanted to bring some of these commodities to your attention because these are right from the uh, newsletter that we write each week. And I, I think some of them are, you know, you'll be surprised at how well some of these things actually work. Now, I just did these. I updated them this morning. These were, remember, these were done uh, on Sunday, uh, Saturday and Sunday, and I send them out Sunday night. But you see the 61% retracement there in heating oil. It's dropped from uh, 228 and it's dropped over eight cents. Uh, that's around $3,500. You can see that's a beautiful 135 pattern with a 382 and a 61% retracement. 
And uh, you don't have to worry about the fundamentals or anything. You just look at that stuff and say, yeah, maybe it works and maybe it doesn't. And, folks, I keep this stuff as simple as possible. And that's the only way uh, I can work because, I, first of all, I'm technically challenged, uh, as you all know. And so I keep it just as simple as I, as I absolutely possibly can. And it works for me. It works for others. But it doesn't work for everybody. The key here is that it doesn't. Now, here's one that we've, we've talked about several times here, and that is copper. Now, copper is signaling that something's not right here, folks. Now, you'll notice here, hold on one second here. We might have someone calling in that might have got in here. We have Robert from Kansas City, Missouri. No, Kansas City, Kansas, on the line. Robert, how are you? Great, Larry. Thanks for taking my call. Well, you were very lucky. I don't know how you got in. There were 12 people ahead of you, but you snuck in. So good luck to you today. What can I do for you, Robert? Well, I was going to see if you could look at have you covered oil and natural gas today? I have so, uh, my I have. apologies. No, no, no. There's nothing to apologize. I will cover it right after. I, there's one of the things that I had to cover. I think I have it right here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I did I did the uh, heating oil, but I haven't done – I don't think I haven't put crude up yet. And I did have well, natural I, gas scheduled. I have a kind of a specific question about – um, sure. USO, because you, you trade the futures, and I don't. I trade the more the, the ETFs. But on okay. USO, and which tracks uh, crude oil. It, Correct. Do you have the chart up? Am I hitting you cold or? No. The problem is, is with this new system that I have, I'm not able to put the chart. What I have to do is, I've got to go in. I've got to change settings to make the chart okay. a certain size, and I come back and rechange it. But I will do this: when the break comes up, I will have that chart posted before Jeff gets on the air. It only takes me about three minutes, but during this time, I really don't have a chance to do it. But I'll put the USO up with the uh, things. But we should be reaching some type of a bottom here. Uh, in the crude oil, we're almost at the 382 level. Uh, that comes in right around $69 a barrel. I think we've been as low as 69.40 today, and I'm watching that level of 69 very, very closely. That's down, you know, like six dollars from my sixteen dollars from the high. So I, I think that that's something that we have to watch. Well, and so I, I guess I'm looking at it a little differently, and I wanted you to kind of uh, give me your thoughts on this. Well, I guess hey, I Robert, was looking at it as, you know, from November 26th down to December the 3rd, is that kind of the A to B leg? And okay. then from December 3rd up to uh, December 9th was at the B to C, and now we're on another leg yeah. downward. You should not see it okay. that way? I will tell you what I'll do. You just send it to LarryPesavento at gmail.com. And then right after the show, I will forward that chart right out to you so you can take a look at it. How's that? That way you'll be okay. sure to get it. And uh, it only takes me a couple minutes. I'll be more than happy to do it for you. So does that right. sound okay? Yeah, yeah, that, that's okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. You bet. Thanks for calling right, in, Robert. Robert. And ha happy holidays to you, too. And the fact is I'll include all the charts from the futures part of the newsletter uh, in that, so you'll be able to see what we're watching on some of these things. But I do believe the crude oil is getting close to a bounce. Now, how much, the reason why I'm bringing these commodities up, and I only got a few more to go here, is because of the fact that we are looking at something that uh, we'll put hogs up here next. You know, folks, what they're telling us about this inflation stuff is about the same stuff that they told us about the negative interest rates, okay? I mean, sure, there's some supply chain problems and stuff like that, but the thing is, kids not getting Christmas presents and everything go go on amazon or go order something and see how hard it is i mean it's so simple it's unbelievable there's nothing back ordered that i can see i've looked at electronic stuff uh, apple stuff i mean it's just everything i mean it's it's there you just have to buy it i mean maybe it's a little bit more expensive you know but it's there there's not uh, supply shocks and stuff like that so i i'm getting so frustrated with the news that I just don't know what the heck to do. So I'll just move on and look at another chart here that we want to pay attention to. This is another one here. This is sugar. We'll put this in here for Ruby because she's always looking at it. This was the one we put out. You'll see there was a beautiful head and shoulders, perfectly symmetrical, the right shoulder to the left shoulder, right on the money. And uh, you can see here we've broken down, you know, well over $800 on the first move here. 
and uh, we don't know where that uh, next move is coming, but it should come down to at least a thousand dollars off of that right shoulder. That would take it down to uh, right around uh, just under nineteen hundred and eighteen ninety nine. So that's one that we're watching. Remember, when you're looking at head and shoulders pattern, folks, the right shoulder must be equal or lower than the left shoulder. If it's higher, it's not a valid head and shoulders pattern. You can't do that. That's more like the hunchback of Notre Dame. You don't want that one. You want the one where the right shoulder is lower than the left shoulder, and that's the one that gives you the key to looking at. We did that one. I believe, uh, I don't know if I sent, I did the Cocoa chart already. Hey, we'll be right back with Jeff Huge, hopefully. Alpha Insights. We'll be right back, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jeff Hughes from Alpha Insights on the line right now. Jeff, are you there? I am here, Larry. How are you? I'm very good. I'd like to say something to you, to the folks out there listening. Uh, I've been doing this business since 1959, a little over 61 years. And I can say with 100% confidence, this is a triple A uh, program that this young man has built up. I've not seen any, I've seen a few as good, but really not any better. You cover the whole gamut. Uh, it's not a get rich quick, uh, 
a quick scheme or anything like that, but it's really good, solid information with uh, technicals and fundamentals. So you should be very, very proud of what you do, Jeff, because you've done a fabulous job. And I can tell you, I've been doing this show for 14 years, and the number of times I've said something like that about somebody, you can count on uh, one hand. So you should be very proud of yourself. Thank you, Larry, and I especially thank you for calling me a young man at age 56. Oh, I got a I got a cat, fifty six. Fluffy, Fluffy, come over here. <laughs> Just uh, uh, hey, let's talk to us about these uh, uh, hard asset things that you're looking at, my friend. Well, you know, we published this chart uh, looking at paper assets versus hard assets. It's really a ratio of the S and P five hundred to gold, and we took it back to 1970, so right around the time where Nixon took us off the gold standard, which was actually in '72. But we got the whole history here. And what we've identified is four clear regimes where either paper assets or hard assets were leading. And so we saw basically hard assets leading paper assets from about 1972 into 1981. And then we saw paper assets just take off and obliterate hard assets for the next 20 years. And effectively from about, uh, oh, the time of the uh, internet bubble peak to around the 2011 high in gold, hard assets outperform paper assets. But since that time, paper assets have been outperforming it. So what we're looking at right now is paper assets breaking out both from you know trend resistance and chart resistance. And we're most uh, we think it's most important when we get a quarterly close above these levels, and it looks like we're on track to close. Uh, with a breakout above these key resistance uh, points, which su- should suggest uh, paper assets will continue to lead hard assets going forward. Wow. Well, how about the interest rates? We've got the Fed uh, acting today. What do you think they'll do? Uh, it's hard to say. I know that the uh, uh, cacophony of economic opinions out there really favors the idea that they will accelerate this process of tapering their asset purchases. Uh, As we all know, they were buying about $120 billion per month in a combination of Treasury and mortgage securities. They, as of last month, cut that back by $15 billion to just $105 billion per month. And it's expected at the um, uh, announcement this afternoon at 2 o'clock New York time that they'll double that a 30 billion reduction, so we'll go from 105 to about uh, what uh, 75 uh, billion a month for a couple more months. So that should end this entire uh, liquidity injection by April, uh, if that in fact pays off. What we're looking at is um, what are the implications for Treasury rates at this point. And this is a daily chart going back to oh about a year ago or so of the 10-year Treasury yield, and it looks to us like we're setting up for a push higher. This is a classic inverted head-and-shoulders base formation if it holds the prior lows around uh, 131. And if we were to take out the 175 level with authority, that would project initially to 235, but that's really just... um, the right shoulder of a much bigger inverted head and shoulders base pattern that we're not necessarily picturing on the chart here. But the next big setup could take us up to around four to four and a half percent longer term. And so, you know, my conclusion here is that regardless of what the Fed does, it looks like the market's setting up for rates to go higher. And I think an initial push to around 235 over, say, the next three- to six-month time horizon seems like it's in the cards at this point. Jeff, we have a question for one of our listeners, and that is, what if the Fed uh, reverses and started, instead of uh, pumping in liquidity, starts taking liquidity out in a great way? What will happen? Well, that's that's what we're talking about here. So this, this reduction of asset purchases is effectively taking liquidity out of the market. Um, you know, by, by lessening what they're injecting in. Now, what your caller's probably asking is, what if they continue to pull out after they get back to a neutral point? I don't think that's a high probability, but it would suggest that inflation is running rampant 
And with yesterday's PPI number, um, there's no question that that is a risk at this point. And that's what I think the interest rate markets are telling you. Uh, rates and inflation have a long history of positive correlation. And unless the uh-huh. Fed has broken that correlation, then we should see rates moving higher. Okay. Now, you've got a uh, really neat chart here on market analysis. So you still think the market's headed higher, Jeff? Well, if I just look at the index, the S&P 500 index, this is a uh-huh. textbook bull market, as you can see. I mean, it's, uh-huh. it's uh, de- by design, we're basically looking at a series of higher highs and higher lows, which by definition is an uptrend, in a very, very neat trend channel, which is one of the key characteristics of a bull market. Uh, markets tend to trend in, in kind of this defined trend channel. And, you know, from my perspective, when we see, you know, this is a, a two-year daily close chart, so we're really looking at the, the number that matters, how the market ends up at the end of each day as opposed to how it got there. Uh, we've got some pretty well-defined uh, support levels at 45.37 and 42.78. And those coincide uh, loosely with the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average. And unless we were to break substantially below the 200-day moving average, I would have to say that the bull market remains intact. And at this point, you know, the noise that we've seen the last couple of days that everybody's, you know, all concerned about, I think is largely just, you know, positioning ahead of the Fed's decision. I think the market's set up for a move to 4,800 on the S&P. And in fact, as we break out to that level, we'll be uh, setting ourselves up for an even higher target price of roughly 5,000 on the S&P. So it would not surprise me to see us hit that 4,800 before year end. And I think 5,000 is in the cards for the first quarter. Okay, well, I can see 4,800 by year's end, but 5,000, that's got to be out there in 2022 somewhere, I guess. Yeah, yeah, in the first quarter, I think, uh, possibly even January. If you think about it, Larry, one of the things that could really drive um, money into the market is just people just capitulating and buying Apple, okay? Apple's the biggest stock in the index. It's the best-performing stock in the index. It is driving the market. And if you don't own it, you're going to lag. You're going to underperform. In fact, last week, the entire performance of the market was Apple and Microsoft. If you did not own those two stocks, you underperformed the market last week. Wow, it's amazing. Now, hey, can you stay with us, Jeff? We've got a, one more segment to do. Absolutely. We'll be right back with Jeff Hughes, Alpha Insights, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Pedro White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back with Jeff Hughes, Alpha Insights. Jeff, you've got a chart here that uh, sort of contradicts a little bit about this bullishness, about uh, the market breadth. What are you seeing here about the uh, this collapsing market breadth? Yeah, it's my biggest concern, uh, Larry, and it is absolutely uh, one of the, the contradicting factors of what's happening in the index. Um, as I mentioned, you know, the index is being carried along by just a handful of stocks. We mentioned Apple and Microsoft. We could also throw in there Google, uh, Amazon, uh, NVIDIA, Adobe, Oracle very recently, um, to, to lesser extent Facebook and Netflix, which had been categorized in that FANG group. And then Tesla also has been on and off again, a big <laughs> contributor. But, you know, the, the long and the short of it is without the, that handful of big tech and, you know, um, next generation disruptor stocks, you have not been participating in the market. And what this chart is really telling you of, of the 2,000 stocks in the, NA, in the um, NYSE index, the NYSE composite, um, most of them have been not, not contributing to the most recent highs. In other words, we've seen this fall off or a downturn in the advanced decline line. And in the NASDAQ, which is the lower panel, it's even worse. The NASDAQ composites uh, made up of around 2,500 stocks, and it's been utterly collapsing. Uh, it actually peaked back in February and uh, has failed to keep up with the peaks in the NASDAQ 100, which, as all will know, 50% of the weighting is that handful of, of heavy uh, heavyweight tech stocks. And so, yeah. you know, this lack of participation is a real concern at this point. And uh, it, it speaks to this, you know, um, the generals are running up the hill, but the infantry is retreating. And eventually what's going to happen is the generals are going to follow. I just don't know exactly when that's going to happen. But based on just pure trend analysis, um, we could project that the index itself does have another leg higher. And that's, that's typical at the very end. You get that kind of a melt-up sure. phase as everybody panics in. So you're a believer of the Santa Claus rally then? I think it's in the cards, definitely. I think the setup okay. is there for Santa Claus rally. Okay, it makes sense. Of course, with the Fed today, they could change all the rules. Now, you also have a really interesting chart here on volatility. And uh, we haven't had anywhere near the volatility we had in, in the 2000 uh, uh, market, but for heaven's sakes, uh, 2008. But we had a pretty big run here. Is volatility over or is it just getting started? I think it's just getting started. A lot of people have been focused on the downtrend in place from the peak in March of 2020, where there was a series of lower lows and lower highs. But if you set the clock back a little further to mid-2017, what you can clearly discern is a pattern of higher lows and higher highs. And so, you know, that is definitely the definition of an uptrend. And in my opinion, volatility is now in an official uptrend. And what we need to see to confirm that is another new high, 
which would mean that volatility would have to exceed the prior monthly close of 54%. We're currently at about 22%, which means volatility's got about 150% upside in terms of a potential move. And um, as, as we know, what, what the VIX actually measures is um, realized volatility, right? And so, you know, what we're, we're seeing is there's implied volatility and realized volatility. And so this is just basically a backward-looking index of what has happened. Uh, but there's a futures market that's also projecting just the same way, and that's looking out forward uh, six months. And we're seeing higher volatility levels priced in at this point. So in my opinion, we will continue to see volatility press higher, and we should get into you know, the panic zone, which is going to be north of 30% again. Okay, now we have a uh, question for one of our listeners from Cincinnati, Ohio, and that question is, do you see a potential crash in the stock market, either soon not, or – okay, all right, that's the answer. <laughs> not, this year, not this year. Next year, okay. I do see a top in the market. In fact, we went out yesterday okay. uh, to our institutional uh, investors and told them that we think the market will top in the first half of 2022. Uh-huh. Okay. Makes good sense. Well, listen, thank you for joining us, my friend, and uh, we'll have you on again. I want to wish you a very happy holiday. We'll have you on right after the first of the year. And uh, keep up the great work, Jeff. You should be very proud of what you do because uh, it's uh, definitely top quality. I'm very, very impressed. I and appreciate so is every, that, Larry. And, and so is everybody your, else, uh, too. <laughs> for your listeners, if anybody wants to uh, take a deeper dive into my research, Alpha Insights, I'll offer a 25% discount today only to uh, anyone who types in TFNN into the coupon code. Oh, well, that's fair enough. That's a Christmas present for everybody. That sounds great. <laughs> All right. You have a great Christmas. Hey, Take care now. You, thank you very much, Jeff. I really appreciate it. And we'll have you on again, of course, after the first year. Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Uh, folks, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to prepare this chart for our gentleman who was asking about the, the USO. And I will just try to do this into one quick fell swoop here. And, uh, well, you know, by golly, I think it's getting ready for a buy. Let's just draw this in, and we'll just get ready for the uh, next part. Yeah, by golly, it's right there. Hold on. Let me get this up here, and then we'll move on to just a second. I can get that up. And then all I have to do is to change that little puppy a little bit. And that'll get us right to where I want to be. And that's right here. I have to go. I have to change these display settings. That's what drives me nuts. But, you know, nothing like what's going on here. All right, let's move on here to one other thing here. And uh, just give me one second here. There we go. I'll have all this redone here by the first of the year. I'm sure we're going to have everything finished. And that's what I'm really looking forward to so that I can not mess around with some of these things. Oh, now it's disappeared. No. Nope. No, that's not it. Uh, where is it? It's just, it's just give me a break here. Well, I'll tell you what. Since we're worrying about that, I will bring up this one right now. This is where we are in the stock market, folks, using the AI. And this is where we are right now. We should have bottomed right here. We shouldn't get any below 4602. If we go below 4602, folks, that means it's going down for the rest of the day. So it's got to start rallying, and it doesn't have any time to dilly or dally because if it goes below 4602 this forecast is flat out wrong and you don't want to have anything to do with it that's the main thing that you want to pay attention to so let's just get this other chart up on the uso and i'm going to have it today and i will send it out to robert from kansas city but i there it is right here here we are here's what he was asking and he was saying does i do i think it's a buy now you notice here that we've had that big move in the crude oil. Uh, we were right down at the 382 retracement now. This is trading at 5039. Okay. Now we should not get below $69 a barrel in crude oil if it's any good because that's the 382. If we get below that, then I would say yes, you could be a buyer of USO anywhere around this level, 5039. But at uh, 4939, you don't want anything to do with it. So your risk here is one point. Because if, if crude oil breaks that 382, and if crude oil breaks that 382, that is not a good sign, folks. And I'm talking with, within a heartbeat. So that's the main thing to uh, remind ourselves. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. If you give me one second, I wanted to show you one other thing here, and then we will be moving on to a couple other things. Uh, I was hoping to have Joe DiNapoli on this week, but he doesn't answer his phone. He doesn't answer his emails, and I'm surprised he answers anything, but <laughs> that's the way it's going. Let's just talk a little bit here about that wheat trade that we were looking at today when it was making the 382 retracement here. I just want to give you a little update of what we're looking at here. There was the 382. Now, this is great for you know low-risk trading intraday. I use 15-minute charts. Beautiful 382 retracement here. You'll notice that the price objective here was 759, seven, bit roughly 759. And so what we're going to do now is just to uh, bring it up to date to see what's happening today. This will all go to all the money that I made on this today will go to the uh, folks at the uh, uh, down in Mayfield, Kentucky. God bless them. And now you can see here that we're already at 752. Uh, that price objective was 1618. You notice how we went through that 1.618 like it didn't even exist. That tells you that it's going to go lower. That's why you've got to pay really close attention to 4602 in this S&P, folks, because if it breaks that and if it breaks that, uh, that's breaking below some major, major support, and that's not a good thing, especially when the Fed's out there today. And if you think the Fed is your the Fed is your friend, I have some interesting uh, information on the two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge that I still have for sale because you will be the type of person that should buy it if you believe the Fed has your back because that Fed does not have your back. They have their own back. 
folks. They're a bank for bankers. You've got to remember that. And we've got a, a uh, fast. Well, next we've got a, a TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. And then Steve Rhodes is coming up. And then David White at 2 o'clock. And then Tom O'Brien wrapping everything up, folks. It's Christmas season. Try to help your neighbors. And live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless and I'll tell you, that's a, a saying that you all should live by because uh, we don't know how much time we have here. I just found out this morning that two of our closest neighbors here in uh, Tucson, I mean, they live like two blocks away, all have COVID. They're doing okay, but that's it. See you all tomorrow, folks. May God bless.